So in this short video, we're going to go through and learn how to disable IPv6 on Ubuntu 18.04. Uh, so uh, IPv6 is enabled by default on Ubuntu. Uh, you can tell by going to uh, IPA, and you can see we have these INET 6 lines here. Uh, that shows that you have INET IP version 6 installed, uh, which can cause some problems sometimes with apt or some other application. So there may be a case where you want to un disable IPv6 uh, system-wide. So that's what this video is going to cover, and we'll go ahead and get in that now. So the first thing you want to do is open your favorite editor and edit etsy sysctl.d slash 99-syscontrol.comp. Uh, uh, you can use whatever editor you want. Uh, BIM comes installed automatically, so we're going to do that. Uh, oh, first you got to be uh, is root. So now we will edit our file. Etsy syscontrol dot slash ninety nine syscontrol dot com. We will edit that, and what you're going to want to do is go all the way to the bottom of the file. Hit I for insert. Go to end. And make sure it doesn't do the comment. Uh, Octothorpe there, and you're going to add three lines that are going to disable IPv6. So we will paste those in. That's uh, netipv6.conf.all.disable underscore IPv6 equals one, and then we're going to do it for default and LO. Uh, so that way it disables all kinds of IPv6. Once you have those three lines in there, do escape, do a colon, right quit, and enter. Uh, so now we have our settings saved to that file, and we need to reload our, our, our settings. So we will do systemctl-p. Uh, oh, sysctl. So we will do sysctl-p. And you can see it reloads our lines. Uh, so we have all three of our lines enabled. Now, if you want to go through and check and make sure, we have IPA. And you see there's no INET 6 lines in here. Uh, the good thing about editing it this way in our 99syscontrolfile.conf is that it saves it after reboot. So after you reboot, you will still not have IPv6 enabled. You'll just have IPv4. Uh, so hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it helps. Um, if it did, uh, please uh, log into my blog or to leave a comment on here. And also please subscribe to my channel as I'll be coming up with a lot more videos like this uh, to help you out along your adventures with Ubuntu. Uh, thanks for thanks for watching and have a great day.